Where we at? Can't start a vlog without a gas station visit. I'm gonna tease her today. I'm gonna put about 12 bucks in here. I know that's gonna piss her off. 12 bucks, four and a half gallons. That's nothing. Gas is kind of expensive over here. I can actually get gas on my side of town for like 220, 230. So I'm gonna fill up over there. Let's roll. Let's see how much that gave us. That 392. That gave me a little under half. That'll give me to the other side. GPS connected. I ain't tripping. 130. I'll take that. 17 and a half miles to the gallon. Your boy's been good on the gas pedal. I've been good. All right. I'm getting better, guys. Let's go ahead and get into the video, man. man so we gotta have a serious conversation man because i'm seeing this more and more often man and what i mean by that is convertible dodge charger and dodge challengers right um the challenger boys set it off a couple years back man i actually did a video on something like this where i actually saw one in person up at keffer dodge which is where i bought my dodge right i remember going up there for oil change this is when i had my v6 so this has been uh, probably about a year, year and a half or whatever, I see a Challenger Hellcat wide body um, uh, drop top, uh, convertible, right? And I, like I said, I think this was maybe 18, 19, 2018, 2019 or whatever. They had a wide body Challenger Hellcat, I kid you not. And I made a video about it, you guys gave me the noise. Uh, but thus far at that point, I had not seen any wide body chargers. I had not seen any uh, wide body charger convertibles and obviously no wide body charger convertibles because there was no wide bodies back then but I hadn't seen any charger convertibles I hadn't seen any SRT 392 no scat pack no Hellcat convertible chargers right and of course with the wide bodies just now coming out a couple months ago um, at the beginning of the year or whatever we certainly haven't seen any wide body charger convertibles until now um, a guy actually did it down in Texas uh, down in Houston if I'm not mistaken uh, he's got a wide body uh, frostbite charger, 392 scat pack, and he dropped it. And he put the brown top, the brown roof, or whatever the case on it. And my question is, how do you feel? Now, I believe that his was the first, the first factory wide body with the uh, convertible si uh, situation on it. I think uh, there's this guy in uh, Texas, YouTube, and on the budget. I think he got a, uh, see, where's the cop at? He around here somewhere but uh i think there was a youtuber down there that did the panoramic sunroof with uh you know the wide body charger or whatever uh that was youtubing on the budget i think he did that i may be mistaken but so we've seen the panoramic sunroof we've seen obviously just your regular sunroof and now we've seen convertibles now if you know anything you know dodge does not offer this option stock this is not something that you can put in a request for with dodge they're not going to do it they do not offer convertible charges and challengers in any trim, especially not the wide bodies, the Hellcats, the 392s, whatever. So you have to get the work done aftermarket. Um, to my understanding, some of the dealerships in North Carolina actually had a deal with uh, a local uh, uh, car, I don't know, I guess you would call them car, I don't know, customizer or car body shop or something like that, where basically they were taking their cars and converting them over to convertibles you know chopping the top and throwing a convertible hood on there or whatever the case may be and of course it came with the button that was standard you could hit it have the convertible you know come up and down and the whole nine so that's the only way that you could actually get a convertible dodge does not offer that as an option in any way shape form or fashion you can't even specially request that you can build a charger but you cannot build that option into your charger right so needless to say you, people are getting that done after market my question to you is are you feeling it are you feeling a 5,000 pound 
500 horsepower, 700 horsepower, wide body, charger, convertible. I'm having trouble hearing you. Even Siri, you know what I'm saying? Even Siri said, I'm not feeling it. You know? I'm not feeling that, to be honest with you. I give you my two cents. I don't like it one bit. I think the convertible aspect only works on certain body styles and certain cars. The Corvette back in the day, you know, I've always looked at, you know, Little Red Corvette, well, that, that was a Prince song, I think. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with convertible Corvettes. I've been seeing them my whole life. Even the new Corvettes. Me personally, I don't like it, but I'm okay with it. it it's much more, I guess, tolerable to see it on the Corvettes than anything else. Um, have I seen a Camaro drop top? Maybe I have. I believe I have seen a Camaro drop top at some point. A new body Camaro drop top. But never a ZL1, never a, a, you know, a 2SS or something like that. It's always like a, a RS or maybe just a base model S, SS where they get the, chop, the, the, the top chopped off. But never the performance edition. Well, this guy took it to the next level and he did it with the 392 wide body. It would have been one thing if he just did it with the standard body scat the standard standard body 392 but he did it with the wide body so literally i believe he's the first one to have done that i don't like it one bit i don't think that challengers and chargers are the types of cars that suit a convertible hood i think that our cars are too big and too powerful for that i think it takes something away from the aesthetics of the car the aggression of the car when you throw a uh, I don't know what those, you know, sunroofs are made out of. I'm assuming some type of uh, uh, vinyl, some type of leather or something like that. I would assume when you throw one of those things on top of our cars, it really makes our cars look like sedans. And I say that to say it makes our cars look pedestrian. It makes our cars look like nothing but grocery getters. And it doesn't matter that it's a wide body. It takes away a lot. It takes away a lot from that car now by all means if you're gonna do that I say do it I dig it do what you want to do with your car once the car is in your name and you're paying for the bills who am I to tell you otherwise who am I to tell you what you can and cannot do should and should not do I'm not that kind of guy I'm not the guy that's like uh, if you got a scat pack you can't put SRT logos on it you do as you please once you start paying for that car and you're putting that car note down every month you do what the hell you want if you want to take the 392 badge and, and put a Hellcat badge you can do it if you want to take the Hellcat badge and put a VTEC badge on that motherfucker. I don't care. Do what you do. I'm not feeling that, man. It, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think it's personal preference? Are you cool with it? Like I said, I think this guy's the first wide body charger to drop the top, to convert over. You know? Honestly, with your boy YouTube and on the budget, um, I watched his video when he did the panoramic sunroof, and I wasn't even feeling that, to be honest with you. I wasn't feeling the construction of the inside and how it retracted and how it, you know, uh, um, expanded out. I didn't like that. I didn't like all that material that was hanging when it retracted and when it, it, it you know, expanded out and whatever. I wasn't feeling that. Now, to each his own, like I said, once you buy your car and you start paying it, you do as you please with it. Take that Hellcat badge off, throw a ZL1 badge on there. It's your car. You do as you please. But a sunroof on a 485 power V8 four door you know what I'm saying I'm not a sunroof but a retractable roof I don't know man I think you lost me I really think you lost me on that one talk to your boy man how do you feel about it I mean like I said I think it looks better on the Challenger because the Challenger is a coupe right two doors right but the Charger though the wide body Charger at that you might have missed me, man. You might have missed me with that. I don't know what to call it. A modification, upgrade. What would you call it? A mod? Maybe that makes it more aerodynamic, right? Because it's no, they probably wouldn't. Actually, it would make it less aerodynamic, or you would lose aerodynamics simply because uh, once you roll the uh, retract the roof down, I guess you would have all that wind drag and resistance and whatnot. So you would actually end up losing aerodynamics by doing it that way. I mean. Talk to your boy, how are you feeling about it, man? That's just my question. Real quick video. I've been seeing that particular Charger more often on Instagram. I've been seeing other Challengers that's got the, the, the roof cut. I just thought I'd make a video, man. Talk to your boy, man. Convertible 2020, well, how, how, do, I, how do we say it? 2020 Dodge Charger 
scat back wide body convertible let's talk about it man there's always the mini boy knockout i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here man i'll see you in the next one peace